Brock. How's, How's it going? Nice How was it getting up here? Not bad. I think this is it, but we'll figure it out. All right, sounds good. Cool. Well, I'm stuck. How's everything going? It's absolutely <laughs> first fishing set in Maine, and I've learned exactly what not to do. That is, that is, don't be me. That's a valuable lesson, kid. Don't be me. Yeah. Well, we got the trailer detached but the problem is my foreigner stuck still Alex literally said we haven't gotten stuck yet and I think moments after that we got stuck A plus show going on. Thankfully, Wyatt was here. Wyatt just always seems to appear on my lowest moments, so. <laughs> that fucking rope held. That's what popped this out. Yep. Okay, nice, thanks. Okay. Wow, that actually worked. After this, I'm definitely probably gonna get some bigger tires. <laughs> because that is exactly what I need, what I should have been having, what I should have been rocking with before you even came out here to bump. The lake is right there. It's pretty painful to know there's fish swimming under the ice and we're over here dicking around with our vehicles. It's all good though. Well, wieners, what's cranking? Sorry to start the video off on such a, a John B moment, but we made it out, got the truck turned around. We're actually gonna go fishing now. Let's just catch fish, that's all I want right now. here doing it finally we're on this new lake i've literally never fished before i hope it's worth it because you saw what we had to do to get here huge shout out to white for getting me unstuck literally thought about just going solo today and he just asked last minute if you know we wanted to fish or what we were doing today and thankfully it wasn't just us so we would have been royally screwed the goal for today is just to catch a fish it's our first like main ice fishing send of 2021 so expectations are down here but this is a pretty unpressured lake we're Definitely up there, just north of Bangor, and there's no one out here. It's beautiful. It's silent, snowing. We've got mountains in the foreground. The objective is to move until we find fish, and uh, we're looking for trout. Alex holds up one finger. We're looking for one trout, either a lake trout or a brook trout. Using some tantrums, which is basically like a little lipless crankbait. Why it's using some dead smelt, which also work really good. Can't go wrong with anything that's like living or dead. We're just gonna see if we can pop a few holes. Just have a day of it. We just need one fish. Oh yeah, there's some over here too. They're like on the bottom though. I don't know if they're... I got one right on me right now. You do? There we go. Hooked up. Nice. <laughs> oh, I just hooked up first fish of the day. That feels good. On a bluegill rod. Nice. <laughs> That's so cool. She woke up. This little toad. Look at that. <laughs> oh, swiped at it. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what, what a little goon. Little... So this is a fish we're after. This is a little lake trout, or as mini, Mainers mini, call them. Mini version of what we're Yeah, trying, I mini of what we're trying to catch. Grease ball toad, whatever you want to call them. That one ate a dead smelt on a jig head. See you, Bubba. Wrong way. There you go. Nice, dude. Yeah, Perfect. I gotta start somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. There we go, first fish of the day. That is huge weight lifted off our shoulders. Even though it's not a giant lake trout, we came up to this spot with just the uh, expectations of 
literally nothing. We just want to get bit, but like, there's some weird stuff crawling on the bottom. I don't know if they're lake trout, but right there, a couple of weird little blips. Oh, come on, Baba. Just a few more minutes here. I just want to hook one and then bounce. There we go. Oh, on, on, on the, uh, on the tantrum. Yeah, on the tantrum. On the drop too. That was sweet. Literally crushed it on the drop. That was wicked. That was pretty good. It's not huge, but it's decent. It's a bigger, bigger rod too. Better than mine. Yeah, hopefully. You're gonna assist me. His head's coming up. Ah, not bad. Oh my god, just crushed it. <laughs> there we go. There's the first main fish of 2021. That's sick. Perfect. Perfect. Look at that little pogue. Absolutely annihilated. Like, dude, head first. Yeah. <laughs> That's so cool. It's neat when they eat artificials just Literally. because it's like, it's just like way more movement. You're hopping it up and oh, down. Yeah. But that's awesome, dude. You want every bit of that. He did. I almost didn't bring my... Uh... Oh, she's tight. Oh! Oh my god! Let's go! This is sick! We were about to leave, too. We did it, boys. All that work, and it's paying off. Ooh, that one sounds decent. <laughs> Doubled up with the day. Let's go, baby! This is so cool. Oh, hell yeah! About the same size. First double. There we go. Nice little lake. You're going back down the hole. Thank you, little dude. Hey, it worked. It paid off. All that bullshit. <laughs> Let's keep going. That is so sick. This is what that fish just ate. This is the exact color pattern, exact size of what I caught my biggest brookie on last year. The little Lakers, little Togue like it as well. This is sweet. This is the deepest hole in this little bay that we're fishing. We were about to move, but we figured we'd just try it out because why well, I caught that one. Anytime you find a deep hole in like a bay or a lake, generally speaking, it's gonna have Lakers in it. Unless you're fishing in Texas and there's no Lakers in Texas. But you get my point, you get what I'm saying. <sighs> Put it there, boys. The thing ate it on the way down, like came out of thin air thin and air. crushed it. How good does that feel? Too easy. Yeah, let's get a big old like 30 incher. <laughs> You're getting greedy. I literally almost didn't bring these. The tweezers. Oh really? Oh here we go, here we go, here we go. Ready? Yeah. Yes. Yes, let's go! <laughs> On the drop. Literally back to back drops. This one feels small. <laughs> ooh, ooh, maybe not. Maybe not that small. <laughs> Doing a lot of head stuff. Doing a lot of head shaking there. This is so cool. Literally just unboxed these rods last night. This is a brand new reel too. Feels so good when the gear just pans out and everything works. I, like I literally just dropped it back down there and this guy came up and just clobbered it on the drop. The cool thing about the tantrum too is it's got troubles on it too. So if, even if they swipe it, you're still gonna get those hooks. It's gonna touch them up. I see a leader. I see a leader. Little one? Yeah. Just a little guy. On the drop, on the again. drop again. Yeah, so wicked. Oh, he's not too bad. Oh, he's a little bit bigger. Oh, careful those troubles. You got him? Yeah, bigger. Yeah, <laughs> nice, dude. This is so dirty. This is so dirty. Engulfed it. Sideways. That's, that's how you want them to eat it. Togue number four? Togue number four for yeah, the group? Yeah. This is so freaking cool to think that we were in a ditch literally an hour ago. And now we're on the lake making things happen. First ice fishing mission of the season. And we're actually catching fish. When does this ever happen? One last look and then we're sent on our way. Yo! <laughs> Let's go! Oh, there's another one down there too. Just cruising. Wow. So the program here is Wyatt used his Navionics to find the deepest spot in this little bay. This isn't even really the main lake. Uh, we're just essentially fishing like a little separate secluded bay adjacent to the main, the main lake. And we're eventually going to work our way over there, but there's biting fish, so we're not going to leave. The depth, it's is pretty deep. It's 53.5, 53 and a half feet of water. So you gotta think about how much water is beneath me at the moment. And there's, you know, bait down there. There's smelt, schools of smelt. And that's what these lake trout are presumably feeding on. And this rattle bait imitates a little bit of everything. I could think it's a smell, could think it's like another little baby lake trout. These lakers are, they're just savage. They're cannibals. They'll eat anything in their way. Hence why I'm throwing a lipless crankbait 
<laughs> in 50 feet of water. They seem to be eating on the drop. So if I see one, I literally just drop right where I think it's at. And then my line goes slack. It's such a cool way to fish. It's one of my favorite types of ice fishing, doing these, this deep vertical jigging with artificials. And the rod is this uh, is the new 39 medium light by Frosty Nipples. It's, it's the drench. If you guys ever do go ice fishing, if you've not ice fished before, I would highly recommend skipping over a lot of the species. Bass of the ice are fun, perch, great. Panfish, awesome. But the two that I would really target are like lake trout and brook trout. There's no better fish to chase through the ice. You can catch them on lures. They're, they fight so hard. Lakers, they eat deep. Brookies, they eat shallow. It's just such a, like a thrill. It's one of the reasons why I got the cabin up here is because there's so, oh, there's another one. Oh, come on, Bubba. Come on, Bubby. Come on, Bubby. Oh, he's on the bottom. He wants to come up for it. Yeah, they're like just crawling on the bottom. How's this compared to uh, tuna fishing? A little bit different. Little, Just a little bit though. A little bit shallower, huh? Yeah. Oh. A lot more quiet. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Seriously. She says 52. It's perfect. Lake trout fishing is so much fun until it's not, and they start doing what they're doing right now. We're on hour four of day one in Maine, or I guess day two, day one of fishing in Maine. Started off pretty decent. We were getting a lot of marks, fish coming through. They were crushing the the, the trap, which is what you always want. Um, and then now they're, they're doing this thing where they come up to the bait and they look at it and they're like, no, like they just don't want to eat it. They're being pretty prude right now, honestly. And I cannot, understand why earlier they were literally scarfing this down and uh they're acting like fools they just won't come up and, and commit to this thing i've had a few swirl swirl around my my tantrum but nothing's fully committed still have a good amount of daylight left but ah uh, there's one come on come on you sassy bitch come on you sassy that's a that's a big mark holy shit. they'll just come in like waves oh jet there's another one what's jet on on no way on. alex is hooked up I missed a hook right. set. Oh, I just hopped No! Off what are you doing? This drag's so tight. <laughs> well, loosen it. That's what I'm doing. Mother. Alex just dumped a, well, probably 30 pound lake trout. Definitely trophy class. I'm getting marks now. This is good. Maybe maybe the clouds had to roll in. You notice that the clouds rolled in and they're starting to show themselves. I don't know. A bunch of scientific as to why they could be acting a little bit less goofy right now. I take back what I said. Maybe they're starting to shape up. Maybe. Just maybe we'll get some fish to eat here. Someday, someday, we'll get together and we'll make a pow pow now. Oh, you son of a bitch. Q. Yes. Yes, you said swear at him a little bit. There we go. Come on up here. Come on up here to Papa. Sometimes you have to be vulgar with these lake trout. This does not feel very big, but it's definitely a fish. At least I think it is. I don't know if bottom looks like that. I gotta stop being smart, I'm gonna lose this fish. They always are so difficult to get up over the hole. There we go, little lick of trout. I love the noise they make when they come out of 40 feet of water, they go. The cool thing about these guys is like, I think when people think of trout, they think of like these very, very sensitive dainty fish then they see a lake trout and they're like what the hell these guys are some of the most wicked looking things on earth they've got pretty gnarly teeth honestly take a look at the chompers on that guy nothing like a pike's mouth but um those are those are great for catching prey oh, this is how you hold a lake trout just like this just like a hot dog they're so hard to hold are we done can we stop this Work with me, I wanna put you back. Okay, you guys get the gist, little lake trout going back in the hole. My hands smell like a public restroom, but we got it done. Little last minute buzzer beater fish. I don't know if we're gonna go in after this, but I just throw this hole and that fish ate within four minutes. So 
Maybe we'll get lucky and get another one. High five. <laughs> That's nasty, bro. <laughs> That's gross. <laughs> On. No way. Almost took the rod out of my hand. Cameraman even gets to fish sometimes. Cool little lake trout. You. Later. There you have it. Popped the last hole today. Sun's starting to set. Really the only ones in this. Oh, I, I lied. There's actually a shanty over there, but it feels like we're the only ones in this bay. Caught. What was it? What? Total number seven, six? I lost count of so many. Six, I think. I reckon it's six. Six fish. Or no, seven with yours, wouldn't it? Yeah, so Alex got a fish there at the end too. So seven total lake trout for a cumulative 30 inches. So in, in, in a way we caught a trophy uh, trout, but if we combine all our fish, anyway, it was honestly a good day despite what we started off with. Let me show you guys back at the uh, the situation. Hopefully we can get out of here. We still need to get out of here, but yeah, not a bad day. First fishing sent up in Maine was a success. Let's go, come on. Why couldn't you done that earlier, you big bitch? <sighs> it goes up a hill with a loaded trailer like no problem, but then it gets sunk in six inches of snow. Riddle me that, Forerunner. She's been very temperamental. I think the reason why she got stuck today is because I was talking about getting a new Forerunner and she didn't like that. <sighs> Here's to the first successful main fishing trip of 2020. That was a good time. We didn't catch the biggest lake trout ever, but we had to start somewhere. And this was a good place to start. New lake, never really done too much of this type of fishing around Camp Claw, but I have done it elsewhere. So it's kind of cool to branch out, try some different stuff. It was so tempting to go after brookies today, but brook trout can be pretty difficult, especially if you're trying to catch them on lures. Drop us some comments, let us know what we should film next. Obviously we won't be able to film the videos that you guys suggest on this trip, but, keyword but, we will be back and sometime February for a little bit longer, a little bit more aggressive trip. We're gonna do a lot bigger suns, maybe four or five hour suns, just kind of getting after it. You know, I really want that full main uh, winter experience before the spawn happens in Texas. Then I'm gonna basically switch gears from hard water to fishing one to five feet of water for hopefully my biggest bass um, ever. That's, that's, ten, that, that's honestly one of my goals. But anyway, we'll save that for later. What's important now is we had a good day fishing. We're gonna have plenty, plenty more. Thank you guys so much for viewing, sticking with this video all the way through. I hope you enjoyed. And as always, folks, keep fishing. Never stop.